Hello? 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 Danger! Hey guys, Debstop here with a more chill commentary today, where we talk about some recent TF2 news. I've got on some TF2 gameplay in the background that I had sitting around. So this video will be some background and also history and personal opinion about what's going on. If you guys feel like you disagree or have something else to say or something you want to add, tell me in the comments and yeah, and I will reply to them. Those of you in the Team Fortress 2 community would have heard this already. But last week, Valve finally came out with the Maps Workshop Beta Update. Let me give you guys the rundown of what this actually is. The Maps Workshop Beta is basically the Steam Workshop support for the community's custom unofficial maps, where you can now get feedback from the community about the map you've designed before the map's general release. This eliminates the problem of putting a lot of effort into creating a map, only to have a server not actually run it. If you're a non-map maker, you can upvote, subscribe to your favorite maps, and play in servers running that map from the workshop. People have already started using it and uploading their maps. Now, a lot of you might be thinking, hey, the custom map making community for TF2 has been here for like, forever, and we're only just seeing this now? It's true. It's definitely a long overdue addition for the TF2 community. And I feel like Valve kind of forgot about it for a while and added it as an almost a sort of afterthought. This comes after last month's news that TF2 would be finally getting matchmaking. To put this all in perspective, it's been 8 years since Team Fortress 2 first came out. 8 flippin' years! And only in 2015 do we hear about matchmaking and workshop support for custom maps. That's actually insane. Not as insane as Valve trying to curry our favor with more hats and those damn ducks, but still, where was this update much earlier? I feel like all these recent updates have been almost too little too late and a lot of the community that's still playing TF2 are hardcore fans and people who stuck around since the beginning, or newer players like me who genuinely love the game. But to have Valve ignore a lot of the community sentiments and suggestions for so long leaves a bitter taste in everyone's mouths. Previously, Valve had been completely out of touch with the community, giving us hats, the whole paid mods kerfuffle, more hats and ducks? Seriously, I can't even deal with the ducks! <sighs> and they're now only just starting to get slightly more in tune with the TF2 community. I mean, I still love Team Fortress 2 and the awesome community we have, and I will probably still keep playing the game for a long time regardless, but this sounds like Valve finally got the wake-up kick in the nuts we'd all been hoping for after Blizzard announced Overwatch. It seems like they're starting to bring this game back from the years of neglect, and they might actually be listening to the TF2 community. I don't want to be overly optimistic just in case Valve screws this up, but this might just be a tiny, tiny beacon of hope for TF2 fans out there. If Valve continues to listen now, us players might have a better chance of being heard. Good on Valve for finally doing something that isn't completely illogical. Let's hope this is a sign of a better supported game in the future, and that TF2 will reform into an even stronger competitor before Overwatch comes out next year. Thanks for listening guys, have an epic week, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!
Oh my gosh! Wrong weapon! <laughs>